Hey guys, it's Wayne again. I have a brand new video. Uh, this is about n noon time. <laughs> so uh, my lighting is not the best. Let me see if I can arrange the camera so you can see me better. Okay, all right, yeah, whatever. Listen, this video is about um, changing the belt on a shark, like the shark duos. It's like this here. And I, I, I literally got started before you. <laughs> so I just remember, you know what it is? Uh, Scott, I believe, left a comment because I had a rant a couple of, a year ago or so. And I, the video is still up because I was searching for a belt for one of these. And before that, I was really working on the upright sharks, uh, not these duo types. And then I finally, you know, customer bought one in and, you know, have a cleaning business. And she wanted me to be able to get help her out, keep, keep things moving, you know, call a shark for the belt. They didn't have it. Not only did they not have the belt, they wanted me to buy the head. They don't sell the belt. And that's, that's the part that really got me like, really, guys, the belt's like seven bucks. The head is like a hundred and something dollars. You want me to spend a hundred dollars? When I can get a, I'll spend 20 bucks for the belt. Get me a belt, you know. Anyway, eventually belts will start circulating around on Amazon and places like that. So now that uh, people can get the belts, uh, they want to know how to change uh, the belt. So uh, let me show you, okay? Now, um, for the side, I, I already started taking out the screw. What I did is I took out these tabs. They got these little tabs on the side right here, okay? And you can use something flat like... Uh, maybe I don't think a flathead screwdriver is is thin enough to to make it through. I use the blade. I use something thin. So you you know be careful if you're gonna use something like this. But uh, just find something very thin that you can just pop in there. Let me show you how it how how they're set up because you see it's normally like this, all right? So really, I just wanted something to get in that very thin spot in there. And the screwdriver is just too, you know, too big to do that. So this little blade was able to do it. All right, let me see, hold on. And I don't, I don't wanna pop it out and then I lose my tab. Okay, see, see that? So it came out, all right, okay. So that's what I need. So now, now that you've exposed that, you need a T10 security uh, drill bit. Um, or screwdriver. And uh, I, I say T10, um, but it's a security with the little hole. Let me see. If you, can you see the hole? See the hole? No, can you? Mm. <laughs> I'm like, can you see it? Uh, <laughs> so, but you get, you, you get the drip. Uh, and um, and there are videos uh, on YouTube that shows people how to take out security bits if you don't have one of these and somewhere out there just kind of look for that but uh, i'm just going to use my hand uh what i'm i'm gonna unscrew it with hand i don't want to use a drill itself uh sometimes these things are in and the plastics might be brittle so i don't want to just zzz. Uh, okay so i'm just using my hand right now so let's take off the uh the screw out of this all right now i'm um, now this is what i'm going to end up first uh also doing let's take this off pull you know pull your thing back to get the top off and let's take the brush out in the front. So we're gonna take this off. This is the same same format. This is the motor side, okay? And this is the geared side. And this is the belt that normally goes on this side of the, cause this is the side that controls the, this, okay? All right? Uh, and then the motor side controls the main brush and then as this brush is circulating, is turning around, it's also turning another gear down here for this brush, all right? So let's let's kind of get through that, all right? Um, all right, so this is what we're gonna do. Uh, so I, um, I got my screws. I took the first two screws out, tiny little screws like these, okay, with the T10. And so now we have to get in through this, this crease right here. And these are all just clipped in, right? With uh, these little clips. So you're gonna have to be like a surgeon on this, all right? Um, use something thin like that. I, I, you know, I have to get a better one of this. This is just too flimsy. Uh, this is, I normally use this for art projects. I just happen to have this. Um, what you can use is a Phillip 
screwdriver, but the Phillip may leave a little nicks because you're, you know, you, you're trying to pop it out. And uh, so that's why I wanted to use this so I can kind of do it very clean, okay? Uh, and it's hard to do, let me, let me get a box so I can make a stand and I may have to lower the camera down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing, all right? Okay, here we go. Let me get something I can put this on. Okay, let's see. Right here. Yeah, yeah, this will this will this will do it. This will do it, this will do it. Okay, let me slide it a little bit. All right, here we go. Let's see if this will work. All right, good. All right, uh, so we're gonna find a spot. I'm, I'm believing the first spot is here, okay, in the front. You can also, I think there's also another spot in the back. So let's explore it, okay? I haven't done this in a while, so let's see what's going on, all right? Let's get it in here. Yep, here we go. See that first pop? See that? Just separated. So what you would do is kind of follow it down the down the down the trail. Okay. Let me see if this will give us an in. Let's see if it'll give us an in. Just going around. Also be aware that you see this little slider here? See this thing that goes in and out, in and out? You're gonna have to be conscious that that's there. Okay, so you don't end up um, losing it. Okay. Just, you know, being so excited about opening this thing, okay? Here we go. I'm just popping it, guys. Just, just you know, a little going around and around. Just take your time. No forcing, okay? It'll just come up. Here we go. Got it. Now, I want you to recognize the layout here. See this layout? You have two of these sliders. One is for the big, I believe, one is for this. And the bottom one here, and then the top one here. So remember how these are set up. Oh, look at that. This is that. You see? <laughs> That's exactly why I, I mentioned that, because that can happen. All right, good. You know? That's how it is. So now, good thing about it is I remember how it is, and this is a great opportunity for me to show you how to put it back. All right? Okay? Now. Uh, this is the tiny little thing you have to be aware of. You see this little, let me see if I can get close enough, right? You see this little, let me see where it is, right here. It, it, it protrudes that little stump right there. Let me see, can you see it? Right there, right there. Okay, that's where the spring is gonna settle. This spring, okay? So watch this here. I'm trying to do it for the camera, so. I'm going to slide this in, but I have to slide it in being aware that that spring, it needs to, that spring needs that to sit. The spring needs to sit in there, okay? Don't just pop it in, all right? Because that's how it goes back and forth, okay? See that? All right, good. So now here's the belt. Let me, let me remove this because it's going to end up falling again. We'll put it back in later. Okay, and uh, if you don't have to mess with this, you can leave it. But if you look at it, take a picture if you have to and see how it is. If it does come out, you can just pop it back in. All right. And that too also have a, um, a tab. You see that black thing right there after the spring? Okay, that you have to, um, if you put this back in, you got to make sure it's secured in that so it can do that spring action. Okay, like back and forth like that. All right, good. Now. If you have to change this belt, let's say you, you got a belt, you, you went online, you found a belt, okay? What you can do for this, because this right now is very tight, very tight, so you don't, you don't, you're not gonna just slide a belt on, okay? So what you're gonna do, if you look over here, all right? I gotta get my sons back in here so they can help me with the camera. <laughs> let's see if I can shift it a little bit. All right, you see those two screws, okay? Those are also T10s, right? Okay. Opportunity, opportunity. That's probably one of you calling me, right? Give me one second, okay? All right. You guys don't know what I did. I deal with this every single day. The past 10 years. These, uh, these calls come in every day. Uh, maybe I won't even play that. I don't, I don't know if I can even play that on my video. But I get these calls and I think it's a customer and it's a bot. <laughs> I'm like, guys, come on, man. You know, take it easy on me. All right.
<clears throat> so uh, where was where was I? Okay, great. T ten. So let's do this. Let's 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 open this because this way, when you if you take this off, if you take that screw off, you'll be able to separate this little part of the gear. And then once you separate it, you can put the belt on, slide it back in, put the screws back in. Let me show what I'm talking about. Fairly simple, okay? Watch. Okay, let's take the screw out. Again, I'm using my hand. Um, see if I can do it so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, one screw, one. Okay, screw two. All right, and then watch this. Okay, this comes out. I'm pushing it from this side. Push it, pops right out, see that? So then now let's say you change your belt, right? You got the belt, you put your new belt on. Okay, make sure it's nice and secure there. And you see this, now you see how the way these, this is where the screws are set, gonna set, so you're gonna set it back in the same spot, okay? So let's make sure we get the belt on this piece here. Okay, now the belt is on, okay? Let me see if you can see, all right? belt is on yeah you know you know what I'm talking about all right if you're brave enough to go this far you can <laughs> you know what I'm talking about if I said the belt is on all right okay here we go let's slide this back in let me let me press it down so I can do it properly because I don't want to I don't want to jack this up all right okay here we go let's turn I'm trying to make sure that I align this with the um with the holes for the screw, okay? So that's the key. Here it is, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, buddy. Come on, let's make this a little easier for me. Give me a tough time. I think it's my, just my big fingers. Here we go. Finally. Okay, let's check. Let's check. Uh-huh. All right, good. All right, is it straight? It's all the way in, good. All right, the belt is in. Okay, all right, that's in. All right, so now let's put our screws back in. All right, this does, doesn't hurt to double check. All right. One screw, and oh my gosh, let's do it this way. This spot is so tiny that I'm just gonna put it like this first and just kinda get it in there. There you go, two screw. All right, so you got that. So you were able to replace that belt. And the same thing goes for the motor side, okay? You do the same exact thing with your, the, you take the screws out, you pop the clips. If you have to change the motor gear, um, uh, what you would do the same thing. You take the screws out so you can have a little slackness, but the motor side is actually a little bit easier to just slide the belt on and off actually. Uh, Cause this has a lip, uh, this gear has a lip, uh, this one, okay? But the motor side, uh, don't believe it has a lip, okay? Um, Uh, let me do the right thing. If you're gonna do it, do it right. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's 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 do it right. Let me take out the screws for this one. Okay. You know what? Let me not get lost. Before I do that, uh, let me put this side back on. Okay. I'm not gonna lose myself, get lost in the sauce. They say, say right. Let me let me do it right. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm setting up that spring, making sure the spring is in that little, the little tab, let me see. Come on spring, you're on, yep. Okay, let's do that again. Making sure that spring is in. You may have to, you may have to do something like this, like I'm pushing a spring, yep. Pushing it back just a little bit. 
so it can get in that tab because I tried it the other way and it was acting like a booga wooga. You know what a booga wooga is? Probably gotta be from the Caribbean uh, to know what a booga <laughs> is. It's a stupid name. <laughs> All right, so, so now I'm gonna snap this back on. All right. All right, so this now, I'm just gonna snap this back in. I just didn't want to start working on this side and, and this side is just hanging loose, okay? All right, so now I took the screws out already. We're gonna do the same thing on this side, all right? Just for those who wanna do the motor side, all right? Um, same, same deal, you're gonna find a spot that you can just pop it, okay? And again, don't force it, just you're just gonna find these little areas. Now, what you can do, you notice right below, right next to the screw, there's a opening right here, and that could be where you slide it in and pop it, okay? And um, now, be careful on this side because the, the, the wheel is connected to this, that, that wheel thing right there, okay? It's, it's in there so the, the wheel might fall out, so just be aware of that. But I'm just gonna put this down here so I can have a better, doing it for the camera, it, it feels a little clumsy. So let me, let me just get myself situated and get this off, all right? Okay, give me a moment. Okay, all right? Okay, so look at that, I'm separating the tabs, okay? And uh, so now I'm gonna turn it over so at least the wheel have a place to sit because it is gonna start trying to find a way off, all right? Here we go. And don't, don't yank anything, all right? If it's acting funny and it's not moving, just take your time. Just take your time, take your time. There's no rush, okay? But the worst thing to do is to just kinda, ah, 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 you know, rip it off, because it, it, <laughs> it will, uh, it'll, it'll make you regret it, all right? This front one is the one that um, is giving me the problem right now. There's a little tab here. I think the tab is right on this side, if I'm not mistaken. I think the tab is over here. Come on, buddy. Here it is, got it. Golly, boy, that was tough. Whew, that was a tough one. All right. But we got it off. So now, if you notice, this, and the wheel did exactly what I thought it was gonna do. Oh. Okay, got my wheel. All right, um, the wheel also have a, um, a, a bar. Let me make sure my bar didn't fall too. Nope, the bar is here. See, the wheel sits right on here. So let me, let me put this, put my wheel back. All right, just put it back where it sits so we don't lose it. All right, so you notice what I was saying, how this there's no lip here, but it it's a grooved belt. So you still have the groove. So it's not gonna be easy to just rip this off and slide it back on, because you still have those grooves here. Let me see if you can see the groove. It's hard to, it's hard to see it. But anyway, this is a grooved belt. Ah, there it is, see it? Okay, so, so the belt is actually, you know, into each groove, so it's, you, know, you don't just pop it off, right? Um, but you should be able to slide this one. This is also groove too. And if anything, you probably can, but this is what I recommend. You can loosen the screws so things can kind of wiggle a little bit, and then you can pop it on and, fix, and fixate it back. And that's pretty much what I'm saying with this. Uh, it's rare that this belt will go. Most of the time, the belt that is under the most strain is the one on this side. Uh, but you see, that's how you that's how you open it, and you really and that's really how you mess with these things. Um, all right, hope and that again. And to put it back, okay. Remember, you have your belt. You have your uh, and and just just remember how these things go. I would take pictures of these things in case they drop out so you know how to put them back in, okay? All right, and I think that's it, guys. Um, 
the wheel is my problem. So I'm gonna pause the video. And when I come back, the wheel's already, cause I just wanna, I have to do it upside down. I have to do it like this. So I don't, see I'm, I'm, I'm putting the wheel in like that. Shite. <laughs> That's how I say it. <laughs> All right, I'm putting the wheel like that. And does it count if if you do a cuss in another language? <laughs> what happened? People in that language are listening to hey, you cussing the people who speak English. They're like, ah, I don't know what you're talking about. But that is English, right? That's the British way of <laughs> anyway. Just messing around, folks. All right. Yeah. So I was able to get that tab back in there, so now I'll snap everything back in. Okay. See, all right, so we're able to put it back. Now we just have to put the screws back in and and put everything back together. So let's do that, all right? I'm just gonna put the screw back in. All right, da 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 da. Put your tabs back in. And uh, I did drop a tab, right? I didn't, wanna, I didn't wanna stop. I didn't wanna stop for you guys. I wanna make sure I kept going. You know, I didn't wanna stop. Okay, here we go. All right, put the tab back in. Voila. Put that right. All right, so the side screws are in. Okay. All right. You have your thing. Now, here's the thing about this. You want to test these. Make sure this is functioning right. And okay. And uh, and if it's not on right. This will tell you because it won't lock properly. So you snap the top in first and then snap down. And there you go. Everything is all set. Back together again. Where are my little tabs at? All right. Put this back like so. Put this like so. Okay. And then and put this one like so. And I just have to find the other one. I dropped it somewhere over here. All right, guys. Uh, and keep them coming, man. Keep them coming. I was happy to uh, to do this. Uh, took too long. I may do another shark video on the other ones. Uh, some of the sharks, um, the uh, one of the most uh, common problems with sharks is the, the brush would stop uh, for the upright ones. Um, similar to this, I mean, give me a second. Similar to uh, similar similar to these, right? Uh, people are using it. All of a sudden, the brush is not working. So I'll, I'm gonna cover how to figure that one out and how to solve that. And uh, that's it. Until next time. Hopefully, next time I'm at a beach. Anyway, talk to you later.